Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like eight months or so again, but let's just not get into that and let's just head on with today's video. So this video will hopefully be part of a series, sort of. Um, I want to make like an ADHD writer diary um if that makes any sense um basically i recently got diagnosed with adhd i had been suspecting it for like two and a half years ish almost two and a half years um but i recently got officially diagnosed um which gives me like the courage and permission to make videos about adhd even though i did think I like I didn't know I have had it like earlier on <laughs> if that makes any sense um and before I say anything else I do want to say that it is valid to self-diagnose um with ADHD um if you've done proper research and you feel like it applies to you then that's totally fine um and I did sort of self-diagnose uh, for like two-ish years then. I just never knew for sure. And I'm really someone who needs to have like an outside person tell me like, oh yeah, okay, it's, you know, you're right. <laughs> Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so that's just what I wanted to say. A little disclaimer, it is valid if you self-diagnose. However, for me... Uh, this official diagnosis has changed the way I perceive myself and the way I allow myself to do things. Um, it shouldn't have to be like this. Uh, I should have been able to like allow myself to do these things regardless, but you know, mental stuff is just complicated and weird. Um, and so for me, I always felt like I'm not allowed to use certain accommodations or I'm not allowed to do things a certain way or be kind to myself about certain things because I have no official reason for it. Um, and so now, officially, by like a psychiatrist, knowing that I have ADHD, I can recognize that and I can, in my head, I can be like, okay, so if I cannot do a certain thing or I do a certain thing, differently from how a neurotypical person might do it then that's okay and I don't have to berate myself for it I don't have to feel guilty or feel bad for doing it this certain different way um so all of that being said what I want to do with this series is I want to mostly make it about writing um, there might be some reading in there, obviously, because I do read a lot and I just like, like, I just think it would be enjoyable to see some clips of me reading, potentially. This is one of the things I need to, like, get over is that I feel like I need to behave a certain way on videos, like I need to talk in a certain way, I need to appear more calm and more collected than I am <laughs> um, which is why I get like stressed and anxious filming these talking clips um, and I get out of breath etc um, so what I'm gonna do to try to not feel like that is I'm gonna take some water I might edit this part out I don't know to be honest but I just like this is why I want to make these sort of ADHD related videos. It won't be videos just about ADHD, but I do want to cater them around it because I think it's very important to show awareness for these kind of things. Um, the way we can mask, the way we can change the way we act um, in order to seem more neurotypical or to seem more 
quote unquote normal, which obviously that's not correct, but you know. Um, so I don't even know what I was saying at first. Um, yeah, okay, so what I want to do in these videos is I want to write, um, which is what I always want to do, but it has been very, very difficult for me to write in like the past years um, for various reasons. But I think the main reason for that is my ADHD. I just have a very, like I have a lot of difficulty with getting started with pro projects and then once I have started them, I just never complete them. And if you have ADHD or you think you have ADHD, you might relate to this. Um, but like I've I've started so many books, I've started so many whips, um, like work in progress. Um, I've started so many stories, um, and I just never finished them. I have like two finished first drafts, but they're just first drafts, and I have not been able to finish a second draft for anything, um, let alone write a first draft for more than these two projects which one of them i think i'm completely shelving because it's just not what i'm vibing with anymore um i just don't think i want to put my effort and focus on that right now um but so it's it's very difficult for me to finish projects it's difficult for me to start them um i get like these hyper fixations on certain projects that i think of certain ideas i have for writing um this is all writing related but it does also apply to other aspects of my life but that's not relevant to this video um so i get like hyper fixated on this one idea i have and i think it's great and i want to spend all my time working on it thinking about it making notes writing making edits like making a pinterest board you know you name it just the whole thing I, I i spent hours on it for like a week or two or maybe three even um whatever time period it is um it's not always the same and then at some point i just lose interest i lose the motivation to keep working on it this is my biggest problem with writing um i did get medication for my ADHD which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get a official diagnosis is because I did want to try medication um I've been taking it for about one and a half week now um and it's going really well obviously my meds make make it easier for me to focus and concentrate on what I'm doing um which besides the not being able to start or finish things is also one of the main problems about writing is that I just can't focus on it, right? Um, and now I have an easier time doing that. So I am hoping that now that I have meds, I can actually write more and I can really focus on one project and keep going with it and hopefully, fingers crossed, um, finish it for once and keep working on it for an extended period of time. Um, I know the meds aren't going to fix everything and like they don't suddenly give me motivation to do things, but I do feel motivation for a specific project right now, which is what I'm going to be focusing on. And I just, I'm just hoping it's going to help. Um, and so what I want is I want to make a series about me being a writer, just me writing my routine, just show you what I'm writing, tell you a little bit about what I'm working on, etc. But I want to incorporate the way that having ADHD affects that and like show it to you in like a vlog style basis. Um, so, you know, maybe in this video I will be very productive, I will be very motivated, you'll see me doing lots of good work. Um, and then in the next um, video, vlog, whatever, um, it might be more difficult. And that's just what I want to capture with this ADHD writer diary kind of vibe thing. Um, just so I can spread awareness about how it affects us. And also, so hopefully there are maybe some people out there that can relate um, and that will feel less alone. And hopefully that will make me feel less alone. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, that's the idea for this series. And I just hope you'll enjoy it. Um, and I hope it can be helpful in one way or another, either to just for people that don't have ADHD. Um, I hope it can show you what it's like for those of us who do and maybe make you a bit more accepting and kind towards people who have ADHD. And also for the people that do have ADHD like me, I just hope it can give you some comfort or some sense of community, etc. Um, especially if you are someone who writes and also has ADHD like me. Um, so yeah, that's that was my idea for this series. Um, and if you, if anyone who's watching it, this um, is interested in seeing a video just about ADHD, like my process, um, what I did, how I did it, how long it took, um, what made me realize I could have ADHD, etc. Just any of that. Let me know in the comments. Um, you could ask any questions you want and I'll answer them in a fully dedicated ADHD video. Um, if you want. These vlogs will just be a little bit more lifestyle related, a little bit more in the moment stuff instead of like a whole Q&A full talking video. Although I feel like I have been rambling for a while, but that is just, I feel like that's part of ADHD, like <laughs> over explaining everything. I could have probably said this whole thing in like three sentences and you all would have been like, okay, we get it. And that's just not what my brain does. My brain over explains things. Um, so gonna keep it in, gonna try to keep it in, editing out, keep it in um, and accept it and accept myself for who I am and how I talk and how much I talk. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's all I wanted to say in this little clip, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Also, while we're on the topic of ADHD and neurodivergence, um, you might in these videos see me um, either with my loops in. This is not sponsored or anything. It's just I got loops, which are like noise reduction AirPods, I guess. Um, so I just put them in like this. So if you ever see little little things in my ears during um, one of these videos, then that's what those are. Um, they're just my loops earplugs. Um, yeah, that's that. And then of course, fidget slash stimming toys, um, things like that, because it helps me a lot to release energy, to focus, to regulate my emotions which is a very big problem that i also have because of my adhd so if you see that or any other like fidget toys fidgets um just know that that's what those are and um if you have questions about where i get some of them just ask me in the comments and i'll reply i hope this sound is not too annoying for you i love the sound i would love like a a some more video of just fidgets um which i could make i don't have a good asmr microphone but you know could always try i also would love to make some bookish asmr um but again i don't have a good mic so i don't know how i would do that um but i might see if i can get like a cheap mic somewhere and try um but yeah that's that and i don't know why i wanted to share that but i just did so yeah Let's get to some writing and I also still have to go to the store actually to buy some things like I need to buy some, some dinner for tonight and just some other random things which I actually need to go make a list because I'm gonna forget what I need to get but uh, uh yeah it's raining and I don't want to go outside but we have to so you might see me do that also in this video. Anyway, I'm actually gonna go now. <laughs> Bye!